So guys, I'm sorry if it's a little bit windy. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself to the channel as you've, you've not really seen the person behind the camera before. So if I can turn it around somehow. So guys, I'm Simon and I'm the man behind the camera for the channel. And I just wanted to start introducing myself to the videos and creating uh, longer form content because I seem to do a lot of shorts with no sort of depth. Um, and I want to sort of get a message across on a number of things to, to do with beers, particularly uh, craft beers, um, uh, the Cascale beers and, and wine to that matter as well. Uh, and eat, eating and food. The um, wind's not too too bad. It's really windy here. Yeah, I want to um, start doing some more videos on our, our local pubs because we're very much in decline over the recent years, and some of our pubs are really lovely buildings, and they serve some really good food, and offer some really good cascales and wines so I really want to sort of start covering that in the channel I've seen so many nice pubs um, in my local area closed down um, and across the country it's the same so I think we should start showing a bit more love to our local pubs because there's still great places to get together and I'm going to take you to one now it's called the to Nick's and but it's on the outskirts of Dunham and Little Bollington so that's where we're off to next anyway enough of my face here's the scenery so it's just a short walk and the pub's just beyond that gate seem to have a, a one-way bridge coming up so can I get across before anyone else? Yes. Quite often see a lot of herons here. There aren't any today fishing. Is it a cask mark pub? It is indeed. The Swan with Two Nicks has stood for centuries in the heart of Little Bollington. Archaeological digs nearby uncovered Bronze Age remains 
but it's the pub's name that holds the unique story. Dating back to the 16th century, it's a nod to the ancient tradition of swan upping, where swans were marked to show ownership. One nick for the dyers, two nicks for the vintners. This quirky bit of history gave the pub its charming name. Over the years, the inn has seen villagers, farmers and bombings in World War II, making it a true part of English heritage. So, I've got a pint of coach house. Let's give this a go. That's really smooth. And that licorice in flavour. That's lovely. So the pub has an outdoor area. Ample parking at the back. And it's known for its real ales and good food. It's also a dog friendly pub, both inside and outside. So that always makes for a friendlier type of person to talk to. So that was the Swan with two nicks. Perfect for a Sunday afternoon for a nice pint by the fire. Nice people, dog friendly, good food. Now it's home for a nice roast. Done a Massey estate is lovely for a nice peaceful walk and go and see some deer. It's an old water mill. We have a stable block. And then just behind the trees is the main house. It's now all part of the National Trust. So if you're a member, you can get in for free or you've got to pay an entrance fee. It's well worth a visit. It's got some nice um, formal gardens as well, which uh, are now closed. So peaceful here. This tree completely hollowed out. But it's still alive. Stood inside a tree.
still very much alive. Lovely piece of topside ready for the oven. So if you want to follow me to more pubs and restaurants for food and drink and lovely places, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.